It started off as Crypto Kitties, where these cute digital cats were sold for, well, one million dollars. And then companies like Engine tried it out with in-game items actually being sold for intense amounts of money. Jack Dorsey then sells his first tweet. Logan Paul starts his own collectible cards, which personally looks like a Pokemon knockoff. There's a project called Decentraland, which is literally recreating the world in the digital space and selling parcels of land off. And then most recently, NBA Topshop have been selling digital moments, pretty much videos and highlights of NBA moments for also serious amounts of money. And then Beeple happened, which I think is where really the NFTs came into the mainstream and shocked everyone with the, with the crazy prices of his artwork. Personally, I think he deserves all of it. My question is why? What is going on? Is this a bubble? A majority of the stuff that I've been seeing for NFTs are just, these can be just JPEGs, right? That I can, you know, take a screenshot and I can own that as well. But Descarte fam, you know for the fact that if you want the best Descarte, you have to really figure out what the heck is going on. Should we enter this space or is it a bubble? Let's find out. I think the first thing we should do is really define what the heck is an NFT. So NFT stands for non fungible token. In economics, fungibility is, is a characteristic in which a good or a commodity is interchangeable. Each unit is interchangeable and also indistinguishable, indistinguishable from each other. A really good example of this would be fiat currency, right? Peso, for example. If, if Juan had 20 pesos, he can exchange that for another 20 pesos with Gregorio. Uh, also, another good example would be Bitcoin, right? Bitcoin, a unit of Bitcoin is interchangeable with another unit of Bitcoin. An example of a non-fungible thing would be uh, NBA cards, for example. So each card has its own value, has its own tradability in regards to if, you know, you've got a top player like Kobe or LeBron, um, uh, you obviously can't trade that for, say, whoever else is an average ranked player. I don't want to name names. They're, they're the same things, but they can't, they're not interchangeable. Also, even if they are the same, if you got a Kobe Kobe right here and a Kobe right here, exactly the same. What's the quality of this Kobe? What's the quality of this Kobe? If this Kobe is a little bit destroyed, is it worth, it's worth less. Even the, the version or the year that it came out, those qualities make it a non-fungible thing. So now that we've got a good understanding of what NFTs are in comparison to fungible tokens, really the question is what gives digital things its value? There's a lot of NFTs right now and so there's a lot of ways and technicalities um, between giving them a price, giving each NFT a price. Again, the types of NFTs are a little bit crazy right now, like I mentioned in, in the beginning of this video, but I think what gives NFTs value is its actual properties, right? So as an example, uh, given that NFTs work through the blockchain, each NFT will be unique just because again, it, it works through blockchain technology. And being that it is unique, being that people that create NFTs have ultimate control as to how many they will release, that creates scarcity, which then dictates price, right? Depending on what the perceived value is of the people on that item of the people that are actually wanting to buy it. Number two, considering again, that this is going through blockchain technology, not only does it make it easy to prove that it is yours, it guarantees ownership um, and it, it is just fraud proof, right? It, you, can't, you can't duplicate this, you can't fake it. Number three, again, another quality is it's easily transferable, right? If you think of it from an arts perspective, which we'll discuss in a little bit. And number four, it is completely indestructible, again, because it's a digital thing. You can't cut it up, right? You can't cut it up and split it into parts. It's completely indestructible. One thing that I forgot to mention is that, for example, artists uh, that want to release their art as NFTs, you can actually program the NFT to give you royalties every time it's it's passed on to a different owner. You can track where your painting is. You can track where your art is. You can you can make money as long as you live off of that art. Besides the fact that you don't have to set up that auction house, you don't have to give up money for for you to build a gallery to market yourself. I mean, for NFTs obviously you will market yourself. People did digital art once a day for I forgot when, right? And probably just put it here. One thing that actually brings tears to my eyes is NFTs is also being applied right now to music. This has been an issue for musicians for such a long time. Great photographers or photos are pretty much being used and, and copy pasted everywhere. Now, as a photographer, if you see your, 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 if you sell your NFT out there, people know that it's licensed. I'm just saying, these are the things that can happen with NFTs. NFTs don't have to be art as well. They can be in-game things, which is completely changing the game right now. Check out Engine and the Age of Rust. There's a lot of games um, out there that are just, just mind-blowing. And people have been doing um, in-game items, in, I mean, exchanging in-game items for real-world money for the longest time. But the thing about that is, once you're done playing that game, your money's gone because that's just a, not unique. 
code, right? But now every item is unique. You can own that specific item for the longest time. And if you manage to find a rare item, bro, the value, the, just think of the value. Anyone can make money off of this stuff right now. It's, it's so insane. It's crazy to think that only a couple years ago I was watching Ready Player, we were all watching Ready Player One, where people were literally living in a digital world, exchanging real money for digital things. And that, that's just what makes it a little bit um, also scary for everyone. Because what if there's a hacker that comes through or, or what if the internet gets destroyed? I encourage you to deep dive on understanding what blockchain technology is and how really things like this um, give you that, the security that you need moving forward in regards to that. If you haven't really deep dove into NFTs or you just feel that this is sketch, it's fine. You don't have to enter it. What I'm trying to say is now that there's perceived value in, in this. There, there's an opportunity to both be involved and make money and also just generally enjoy the situation because this is just something that, again, is completely new. It's the same way as when Bitcoin came around, no one understood it, but now there's a lot of people making money. The same way when internet came around, no one understood it. There was a crash, people then understood it and then people made money. How to get into NFTs? Again, there's different types of NFTs, but right now you can check OpenSea for art, super rare also for, for digital art. You've got Nifty Gateway for music. You've got NBA Top Shop for NBA moments. And then you've got so rare for football cards. There are so many ways to enter the NFT market right now. Just, just do your own research. My personal opinion on NFTs, I think it's a movement that's here to stay now moving forward. Again, I think this is inevitable. This is, this is happening. Accept it. Um, and if you want to enter it, enter it and make money. If you don't, then, then don't, that's fine. I think we're truly living in the future. It's, it's amazing to be seeing this unfolding and hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed the video and you have a better understanding of what NFTs are. That's it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much. I'm really happy that I'm back making videos. I'm going to make more. I'm going to keep consistent. Thank you so much for supporting me. Please don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the video. I love you all. My name is Mendy and this has been Descarte Filipinas.